Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to the 16th part of the CSS tutorial WordPress 101 for beginner developers. Have you ever heard about Monstroid? Monstroid is basically WordPress on steroids. With this product you can build easily everything from a single blog page to a gigantic e-commerce to sell your product online. If you don't want to waste time and you're looking for a product that it works out of the box and is really solid, I suggest you to try Monstroid. Click on this video to learn more and access a 10% discount for Monstroid or whatever other theme you decided to purchase from the template monster repository. Welcome again. In this lesson, we are going to talk about how to properly style the header information of our awesome theme. Be sure to not confuse the header information with the header of a single post or a single page. The header information that I'm talking about are the HTML head meta tag. All those infos, all those HTML native meta tag that goes inside the head tag of your HTML structure. WordPress, of course, comes with a series of functions that gives us the ability to print all the proper information to style a properly HTML correct markup. All this information, they absolutely need to be added inside your team to style a proper valid SEO, valid HTML theme, and to also let the browser or the search engines properly read your theme. So let's take a look at our theme, the current status of our head. And if you notice, this here is really simple. We have just opened the HTML. We have the head open and we print all the information for the CSS and all the other uh, pre-built information of the header with the function WP underscore head. And we manually, we hard coded inside the char set in our method tag and the title of our blog post. So we have to totally change these two parameters because these two parameters, they, they have to be dynamic and not uh, static. First of all, we have to implement the language attribute in our HTML tag. To do that is really simple. WordPress comes with a super intuitive function to call, of course, the language attribute and this function is language attributes. This function will print the current language attribute settings of our HTML based on our theme settings, theme information. So if you download WordPress in German or if you download WordPress in Italian or in English, you're gonna have a different language attribute based on the language of, or, of your WordPress installation. The other parameter that we have to change and has to be dynamic is the actual chart set of our meta tag. Now, usually like universally to be like readable is UTF-8, but of course we're not all English speaker, we are not all in the same country, so the chart set can variate based on the country of our WordPress installation of your theme. So also in this case, this value has to be dynamic based on your settings. To do that, as usual, let's open our PHP tags and let's print, let's use a really useful uh, function of WordPress that is called blog info. Blog info has a ton of parameters and attributes to print whatever we want. Pretty much the blog info will give us access to all the information that we set inside our settings page. Uh, in this case, I want to print the chart set of my WordPress installation. So I will simply write chart set as a string and close the whole mighty semicolon. The other thing that I want to print is the title because I don't want this title to be static. If you notice sometimes when you navigate through uh, WordPress 
theme or other website, the title variates based on the content that you're reading. So if you're on the homepage, probably the title will have uh, the name of the blog in the description. But if you are in a blog post, the title of the page is the same as the blog post. That is really useful and really helpful for search engines and optimization. So let's make sure to use the same thing. Uh, by default, we could use also uh, the blog info to print this thing. So let's take a look, just recopy. I don't wanna write it again because I'm lazy. Blog info, and we can print the name or lowercase name. If we save it, if we refresh our front end and we access the meta information in the header inside the inspector, you will notice that first we have our uh, language settings in the HTML is really useful. We have the correct, the, the correct chart set that we're using and we have our WordPress title. This information is directly connected to information inside the settings page that you can find inside settings, general page. And of course we have the site title that it WordPress default. And inside of course here we have the title it WordPress default. If I change this name, awesome theme and the tagline, this is my awesome theme and we save it. We refresh the front end. You're gonna notice that here the title change it, but if I access, for example, whatever blog post I want, the title is gonna remain static, it's gonna be always the same, this awesome theme title, and this is not good for indie suggestion. So I wanna change this thing to maintain the actual title of my uh, WordPress website, generic title, but also add the current uh, title of the content that I'm looking for or a user is looking at. So to do that, we have to use the uh, another function of WordPress called the WP title. Let's make a space, open a PHP variable, maybe in a proper way, sorry, <laughs> PHP variable, and let's print WP underscore title. And we have a bunch of settings here to specify the separation string, uh, when and where we can display our information. For now, we leave it at, as a default. Uh, we don't wanna dig too much into this function that will work without any parameters. This WP title will print the blog post uh, name or the page name only if you navigate into that page. So if we save it and we access our home page, you will notice that the title is still just awesome theme and we have a little bit of space because we added dynamically the space. But if I access, for example, this blog post umbrella post, you will notice that here in the top part and also in our HTML tag, we have our blog post title a little symbol like a double arrow and the umbrella post, the actual title of our my, of my blog post. And this will come every time I change page. So now I'm in the blog and I have awesome theme, space, blog. I uh, wanna go in a contact page, I have awesome theme, space, contact, because contact is the actual name of the contact page, of course. So this is really helpful because it dynamically changes your page title, your HTML meta tag of the title based on the content that you're looking at. This is really useful for SEO and indicization. If we don't like the little symbol that uh, WordPress is using by default, we can change with the first parameter inside the first attribute inside the WP title. So just remove the space between the two PHP tags and inside here, open a string and create space space. And I wanna use this little symbol here, save it, go in the homepage, refresh, go inside whatever blog post and you will notice here now we have the actual information. We have the new separator that we define and actually WordPress by default add like a space between the separators. So uh, I don't need to put space in my attribute. Let's refresh and see. Yeah, now it's way better. So you can customize the way WordPress divides your uh, blog title and your actual 
um, post or page title or whatever if you're inside a category or inside in the archive or the search result uh, this value is going to be dynamic the other parameter I want to print is the meta description of my website and also in this case I can use the blog info function that comes with the ability to print the description from of course the general settings in my administration panel so also in this case let's open the meta tag with the name description and the content of the meta tag I can use the blog info again and print description and close the meta tag of course save it let's access our front end refresh it and in C and you can see here we have our meta description with this is my awesome theme and this parameter of course is exactly the same as the tagline or the description of my blog post so I can change this thing I can change this other thing, the site title and tagline to handle and manage all the information that are printed inside our meta tag to customize better the experience for the search engines. Now, at this point, all the other information that we need to print a proper HTML head uh, tag are inside the WP head functions. But unfortunately, the WP head function prints everything all our information everything is printed inside the head meta tag so if we go back in the home page you will see and we open the header inside the description we have, have pretty much everything we have the uh, alternate rss feed link uh, we have our javascript css we have the edit url we have also the generator wordpress version of which WordPress version we are running currently, and we have the canonical and short link rel. Pretty much all this information are useful and we should keep it like that. The only information that I really don't wanna print because it's a sort of security flaw and could be bad if someone wants to hack my site is the actual uh, version of WordPress, the meta tag generator this version of wordpress gives the hint to whatever hacker or like a user with some bad intentions of which version i'm currently running and if i'm not one of those guys that update constantly the wordpress installation i could have here like wordpress 3.7 or wordpress 3.6 and that gives the ability to a specific user to know right away uh what kind of like problem and bugs that WordPress installation could have. So if I'm running a 3.6 and I know that a 3.6 has the huge heartbleed uh, bug, I can use that bug that is not fixed to access and create some real serious damage to uh, a specific website. So let's see how to remove this tag without destroying everything. Of course, we cannot do it inside our header because it's all inside the WP and information that is printed. All these information are printed during the generation of my theme. So I have to create a function that removes that specific meta tag information before the generation of uh, all those meta tags. To do that, I have to create a function inside my functions.php file. Let's copy um, comment to create another section and let's go add function and let's create a function oops if I know how to read function awesome remove version because I want to remove the version of my blog post and here I can just return an empty string then what I have to do is I have to connect this function to the actual hook that generates the version of WordPress. To do that, I have to use the add filter hook. This add filter hook gives us the ability to connect our own custom function or uh, whatever uh, custom snippet of code we created to a specific point 
in the WordPress generation. So every time WordPress generates um, something like the header, a meta tag, or a blog post, there's a filter we can access in that specific moment and edit and manipulate the information that WordPress prints. So in this case, I want to change the generation of the WordPress uh, version and the meta tag is called a generator. So the filter that I have to access is actually simple to be like consistent, the underscore generator. And I have to call my function here to connect it as a string, of course. And I can close my filter adding option. Let's save it. Let's access again our front end, refresh. And you will notice that while all the information in our meta tag, in our header, all the meta tags are still there, there's no the WordPress version anymore. So this gives us a little bit more security and safety in our WordPress installation. So super quick and super easy lesson today, but these are quite important information that you have to experiment to. So I suggest you before the next lesson to experiment and take a look of the blog info settings and all the attributes there are inside this blog info function because all the attributes that you need to print a custom link or to print a custom meta tag are inside a function that is it pretty much carries all your blog information so be careful experiment with the section and let's build together a better html markup so thank you again for checking this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you want, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or leave it a comment if you have some questions, some doubts. As you notice, I try to answer pretty much and help pretty much everyone as best as I can. So thank you again, everyone, and see you next video. Bye.